Hello YouTube, welcome to my channel and it's very first upload. Uh, you read the title, but before we get into anything, I would like to give you a brief walkthrough on what this channel will be about. Well, firstly, it will be about art, uh, digital art, 3D modeling, 3D animation, VFX, uh, so on and so on, video editing. Uh, and here I will teach as I learn and I'll try to keep the tutorials as simple and basic as I can so that, you know, anyone anywhere can learn and grasp these concepts and add them to their daily lives, their professional world, anything. So without any further ado, let's jump right in. Let's go ahead and fire up Photoshop. I already have it open here and go to file and new or hit ctrl n so you'll be presented with this window here you can select the type of canvas you want starting from the recents you have used uh, custom a3 and so on and on the top here you have the categories saved options print art and illustration web mobile and film and video all of which contain different canvas settings to suit your preference I'll go ahead and make the assumption that you guys have a basic understanding of Photoshop. If you don't, don't worry, I'll still walk you through this step by step. So now let's go ahead to print and select A4. There's a lot of sizes here as you can see, but let's get an A4 for now. You can also change its dimensions by going here and adjusting the height and width. You can also change the units from pixels to millimeters or whatever it is you're comfortable with. So now just go ahead and hit create and you will get your canvas like so. Now this is basic and this is the basic layout you will get. This is your canvas. Over here you have the layers panel, the channels, parts which will be used in different scenarios. And this is your color palette and this is your swatches. And also way over here you have your toolbar. Now over here you have the background layer, the default background layer. And as a general rule of thumb, you don't draw straight on it. It depends of course with how you use Photoshop and what you're comfortable with, but I generally leave this one out. So I'm going to get me a new layer by pressing Ctrl, Shift and N, which gives us this window where you can name this as Sketch and hit Enter to get that here. Now let's get the brush tool by hitting B on the keyboard or you can find the brush tool here on your toolbar. Also something to keep in mind, I am using a Wacom graphic tablet to draw which lets me do this. So if you are using a mouse, which I highly doubt, uh, this will be a little harder to follow along with. Again, fun tip, you can change the brush size by using the square brackets on the keyboard. So the right bracket makes it larger and the left one makes it smaller. This makes it really easy to like maneuver your brush strokes as you're drawing. And again, you can zoom in by holding down the Z key and then tap on your canvas and pull it back like so. And this makes it easier to zoom in and out freely and you have that control in your hands, which is like really nice. Right, now let's start off by giving him a head. A very generic circle with some lines to give some sense as to where he is facing, like so. And now let's continue on to the body, starting off with the neck, like so. And I'm gonna do this character with his hands in his pockets, so I'm gonna get that down like so. One thing to note when drawing characters is to always keep their pose as natural looking as possible because whatever you're drawing has to look like it's physically doable and that generates this believable aspect to it. So in this case, it's, it's a very basic generic uh, standing posture but the feet are bent a little and the pose has this flow to it. Like it's not stiff and it doesn't look artificial. That's something you have to always keep in mind when drawing characters in pose. Okay, now that we have the basic sketch done, let's open up a new layer and give him some clothes. I dropped the opacity to roughly 50% on the previous layer so we can draw the clothes with better judgement. Let's start off by giving him a generic looking t-shirt like so.
Likewise, you can move on to giving him some extra normal looking pants as well. A good point to note when drawing pants is to look at how the wrinkles go in normal clothes. So maybe get some references from sites like Pinterest or just go to Google Images and look some shit up. The more natural it turns out, the better the overall outlook is and again, it becomes more believable that way. Now that we have finished giving him clothes, it's time to finalize on his body next. For this, I'll open up a new layer, put that below the clothes layer and redraw the rough figure we did earlier but with finer and more complete lines. To finish up our sketch, let's give him a face and some hair. I decided to go with a rather plain look on the face and a very stereotypical hairstyle. You can do whatever you're comfortable with, like get creative with the hair, do all kinds of weird stuff. Make him go bald or punk or even half shaven, anything that comes to mind. What matters is you enjoy what you're doing to the poor bastard, like as long as he looks kind of okay once you're done, you're good to go. Okay, and with that, the sketch is done. All that's left now is to color him and finish up. To do this, first we have to group the layers we used for the sketch separately and open another group which will contain the color layers. The way we're going to do this is by clicking on this bottom layer here and shift clicking on the top one all the way up here. This selects everything in between. Next, press Ctrl G to put those layers in a new group. Now let's rename this one as Outline. You can also create groups by going down here and clicking on this little folder icon. Now rename this one as Color. You can also change the color each group is represented by by right clicking it and going down here where you will see the different color options. Doing this just helps you separate the layers better and keep your workspace tidy. Right, now let's open a new layer inside the color group and color him using flat and plain colors. Opening a new layer for each clothing item and skin is a good practice to keep you from messing up.
And with that, we're about 80% finished. Now all that's left to do is give him some simple shading, color his hair and do his shoes and we'll be done. Now, to pick the colors for shading, there are many preferences out there, but for this piece, I'm going to select something that has a lower brightness for the same hue. I'll also play around with the saturation a little bit, but it won't be that far off from the original. There are some color palettes on the internet that are catered to specific types of drawings, so do go check them out on your own free time. For example, there's like stuff for skin, backgrounds, different types of art, etc, etc. But it's always a good practice to play around with the colors yourself, because that way not only do you teach yourself stuff unconsciously, but you also get a grasp for the different ways you can handle color in Photoshop. Drop some comments below if you like want me to do a separate video for that specifically, or if you want a longer, more detailed version of this video, or just, I don't know, anything you want. Like, spam my comment section, go ahead.
that has been it from me. Hope you guys learned something. And if you did enjoy the video, a like and a sub would be tremendously helpful. Uh, comment what you thought below and if you have any suggestions or tips for future videos, I'd appreciate those very much. For now, stay safe, hope you guys have a great day and I'll catch you in the next one.